feminism you know it uh, was a political movement that raised voice for women's rights in america it, its origin is america but uh, the thing which they talk uh, about and which they support they are also pa part of many other uh, uh, groups and uh, movements uh, all over the world so it is not specific with them that they talk about women's rights so keep in mind but somehow their emphasis is that in uh, male dominated societies there is difference of power there is inequality uh, in rights etc so how this feeling of male superiority male power and difference is communicated to children through fairy tales uh, in this module you will know about this so we have talked about a research by a pakistani researcher on fairy tales who selected uh, fairy tales from uh, a collection and uh, we discussed uh, a few uh, of the findings of this research in the last module that uh, that we now continue uh, we will talk about more findings of the same research number 1 women do kitchen work clean home make bed wash clothes they sew they knit they take care of elders and children uh, especially uh, this is true uh, of uh, giant families most of us are part of giant family so we experience all these things by ourselves so this is uh, you know we have discussed in previous modules Uh, that roles are defined by gender order of the society home is for women and public life is uh, for the males second finding is women suffer at hands of women and sometimes the husband this too has been discussed by us also and again this finding matches with our uh, previous knowledge third finding is women have a lower status than men at home the beautiful girl for example this is a quote from one of the fairy tales the beautiful girl fell on her knees before him him means male and said ah my beloved forgive me for the evil i have done you for the harm i have done she might have committed some mistake and she apologizes to the beloved my mother drove me to it i am faultless uh, i did all these things because my mother motivated me to do all this she explains the reason uh, as well and this is a, a kind of extended apology when you uh, don't just say that i am sorry but you also explain why i committed the mistake so she said that my mother drove me to it it was done against my will i uh, didn't do it intentionally so she uh, a sense of power and uh, powerfulness and powerlessness is uh, evident from this story and uh, now see another thing a patriarchic a patriarchal attitude from patriarchy patriarchal uh, attitude in this text uh this term is being used these days in a negative sense uh, if you uh, remember aurat marches etc so uh, they uh, write slogans on placards Uh, pidar shahi or uh, something like that is not acceptable so uh, this is patriarchal in english so in this text uh, that i i would uh, show you here uh, this attitude is uh, uh, evident in response to wife's question 
about uh, racing with a hare. Now see, this time, the character of the story are animals. So wife asked the question of racing with a hare. And uh, she says uh, that, why are you doing this? And the, uh, the husband replies, hold your tongue, woman. In Urdu, you can say, uh, he, he replied, Makwas na karo, apni zaban band karo, like this. Said the hedgehog, another animal, and uh, this animal is acting as husband. That is my affair. Don't begin to discuss things which are matters for men. And this is very familiar to all of us. We often have heard it at home. Bando ke kaam mein mudakhlat na kiya karo. Bardo ke kaam mein na aya karo. The same uh, passage here. Be off. Go away. Dress and come with me. That's your job. Okay, this is the attitude. Another finding is, by the same researcher, women sacrifice for every member of the family. Mother bears loss of her son in this uh, extract, in this piece of text that you see here. Then the mother gave her sorrow into God's keeping. This is a mother. She has lost her son. Son is uh, dead. Okay. And she expresses her grief. She says that I have given my sorrow to God's keeping and bore it quietly and patiently. And the child came no more. My son hasn't returned but slept in its little bed beneath the earth. He is in his grave. He won't return, but I bear this loss. Okay. Women speak only when men allow them to speak. And we uh, have already seen it in the uh, text of uh, wife and hedgehog in a previous uh, text in uh, this module. Another point is, women speak only when men, this is uh, discussed. Number fifth, women bring dowry to make their new home after marriage. The home, actually, it is the home of a husband that is uh, going to uh, become uh, that is going to come into existence. But see, who builds this house? Who provides things for this new home? The girl. The girl will bring dowry. Even if they are royal, even royals, if a girl belongs to royal family, she has to come with dowry. And you have already seen it when we discussed King Lear uh, and see how he gave uh, different states, different areas of his kingdom to his daughters, Goneril and Regan. Now, here is a text from uh, these fairy tales uh, to show the same point. The aged queen packed up for her many costly vessels and silver and gold and cups and jewels, in short, everything. This is what our mothers do in our families too. Mothers arrange all these things for dowry of their daughters. Number six, women have to give male children to her husband. Otherwise, she will face agony, aziyat, torture, social stigma, rushwai, and sometimes even they face divorce. Here is a task to understand all these points which we have discussed so far. Search Google are your college library. Find two tales which support partially or fully or reject the views 
which have been discussed by the Pakistani researcher in this matter. So we conclude female characters in tales enact they perform the roles of real women and they show how women are treated in a male dominated society. These tales verify the feminist concern about unequal status of women in many cultures of the world. Both foreign or local tales promote the same gender stereotype because if you remember heterosexuality is the norm of the entire world. Most cultures in the world follow this norm. The sexual relationship are allowed only between opposite sexes, not between same sexes. This is the norm. Okay. And these norms and male domination, they are conveyed not only in Asian cultures, in Western cultures, rather in all cultures of the world.